Hello everyone, this is Debbie and I'm back today to uh, as a response to a request from one of my subscribers. She wanted to know how I incorporate magnets into my projects and what magnets I use I'm sure as well. I do use the basic gray magnets. I really, really like them. They do come in two different sizes. This one is the small one. The small one actually measures approximately 3 eighths of an inch across and it also comes in a large size. These um, are about 5 eighths of an inch across and they do come two different ways. The first way that they come would be an adhesive backing and uh, so you could just peel off the paper. Here's one right here. You could peel off the paper and there is a little bit of adhesive on the back. I don't do it that way. I make sure I glue them in to make sure that they're really adhered well. And they also come, of course, non-adhesive, and you would just glue them the same way. But what I really, really like about these magnets is the um, how thin they are. This is the magnet, whoop, whoop, right there, there's the magnet. I don't know if you can see that, look how thin it is. But when I put a dime next to it, you can see that they are pretty much, I hope you guys can see that, pretty much about the same thickness. So if you pick up a dime, you'll be able to kind of get an idea of maybe what the thickness of these magnets are. Um, so when you get them underneath your paper, it's pretty much, you can't really even hardly tell that they're there unless you press down and you can feel the, the magnet in there. So one way that I do use these magnets, um, any of you who have seen my minis, you know that I love to do all these little pullouts and that kind of stuff. And I do use them in these pullouts here. And how I would do it in this particular um, pocket would be I would put a magnet here on the inside and I do like to sandwich in between my, my um, black paper here and my decorator paper. I would put it in there so that I could sandwich that piece in between my piece. So I would glue that and I would stick it down in here and then I will be gluing my paper over this. So now I have a magnet in here as you could see. I mean it's like uh, you can't even see a bump on there. Where if you were using, let me show you some of the other magnets actually that you may um, uh, have in your stash from, um, a, I don't know, from just a craft store somewhere. Um, they are really thick. Look at this. Oops, oops, up. Yep. See, see how thick they are? And then if you put the basic gray magnet, you can see that there is a huge difference in the thickness of those. So with these, I mean that they would still stick not as well. These these um, basic gray magnets are very, very strong. But you know, I mean, they would work. You'll just have a bump in there. So you do whatever you want. I find that the basic gray magnets actually are pretty reasonably priced. So anyway, back to my little pocket here. So I do have my magnet in here. Now, one thing that I do have to think about, and with using magnets, you do have to kind of do a little bit of planning. Now I know I want it to close like this, so I will have to have a magnet somewhere over here, but I do not want it on top. Not pretty to put a magnet on top. I don't know, I, I don't like it. Some people may like that, I do not. So I either can attach it to this booklet that I'm going to put behind my page, and when it closes, there you go. It's, it's all closed right there my magnets are together or and then I would go ahead and put my decorator paper over it and then it would be enclosed in there or I can put that behind my page that that will be on my my base page of my book and you can you can do that as well so you would have it back here and then when you close it your magnet would would be behind here but if you do want to put a tag or anything behind here, or like with me, I'm having this pull out, I don't want anything to obstruct my um, tag pulling in and out. So you would have to put a base page with your magnet in between here so that you could have your pull out here, and there it is. 
So, you know, just kind of think about it and see, um, you know, pre-plan, see how you want your page to go. But I like to enclose my magnets in my papers. So there is one option right there. I hope I made that clear. If not, please leave me a note um, on the comments and I will definitely um, uh, clarify that for you if that was, if that was not clear. So now I have also have a waterfall page. I love waterfalls. It gives you options to put additional photos and journaling and whatever else on your pages. But I don't want it flopping around like this in my book. I like to have it to where everything is nice and closed. So what I would do in this particular incidence is I would um, get my magnet. Now, for time's sake, I am just going to use the little adhesive that they have on the back here, guys. I, like I said, normally I would go ahead and glue that. So I'm going to try to center it best I can. The only thing that matters is that you have your magnets lined. That is it. That would be the only thing that you really need to do. So I have this here, and then I will be putting my decorator paper again over that so that that is not, um, so that the magnet is not showing. So then what I would do is I need to have a magnet somewhere down underneath, but I want all of these pages right here to be, um, you know, um, stick together when, when I have my magnet in there. So I'm going to grab another magnet, and that magnet I am going to put way back here in the very back page. And I'm going to do that right now with the sticky and make sure that I have the right one sticking up and I do right there that should be good but I do want to make sure that my magnets are going to line up so if you get your magnet and you put it on the back there that's showing me where my magnet needs to be so what I did is I because I already have my magnet in the front here if I turn this over and I basically just throw my magnet on there it's going to show me where it wants to go so there we go, everything is all together. Nothing is coming apart here. So, and I did a little experiment. I actually have um, some black card stock here that simulates maybe a picture. And I tucked those in here along with all my papers. And look at that guys, 20 layers, 20 layers. And it sticks together. So when you put it down in your book, you're definitely not going to have anything flopping around anywhere. So um, anyway, um, using magnets would take, um, like I said, some pre-planning. You need to decide what you want your base um, page to look like. So you'll know where you need to put your magnets before you do any gluing. Because once you do that gluing and stuff, you know how that is. Your pages like to fall apart. And that if you're trying to tear everything apart, you get, you get uh, rips all over the place and that. So pre-planning, enclose them in between two pieces of paper to hide those magnets. Um, and you know, you can use them for all kinds and other things that you could do. I have this one page here that I'm going to put in a mini. I'm going to be sharing with you guys soon, but this little flower right here is not glued. I have it on a magnet and this magnet allows this whatever frame to come off. But when you want to attach it, all you do is just put it on there and look at that. Your magnet, your little rose and your magnet is holding that on because I have also put a magnet on the back of this. And then this would be adhered to your page. So, you know, just kind of a fun little interactive idea there. As well, if you wanted to, let me grab my flower here. Um, this is going to be my mini, and I won't be using this closure, but I'm just using it for um, display purposes. I have my little ribbon. It's attached to the back to the back and then you bring it over here and then if I had my same little flower that I use with a magnet on here it keeps that closed because I have applied a magnet in between my base of my book and my cover page oops base of the book and the cover page can you guys see that I hope so yeah there we go magnet here and then my base page goes over that and then when I put my little embellishment here with a magnet on it, it closes it. You know, just, just gives you another little idea for um, you using a magnet and just making a really clean, nice closure for your book as well. And they're very strong. 
So anyway, guys, that is how I, that, just a few ideas on how I use my magnets um, in my minis and my scrapbook pages and that. But if you guys have any questions, please leave me a comment um, and I will definitely try to get back to all of your guys' questions and that. But um, it gives you a nice, clean um, product. You don't have magnets out. I mean, you know, I use the used Velcro, not such a good thing. It's not very pretty. Magnets are a great way um, to clean up your projects and give it a really nice, professional, clean look. Okay, guys, thank you so much for um, watching my video on my um, magnetic um, disc um, usage. And anyway, um, happy scrapping, and I hope you guys will get some magnets and try them for yourself. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.